Well, Georgia Tech goes back into ACC play this Saturday with a 12:30 start at Maryland. And Shaq Mason has become a familiar figure in Georgia Tech's offensive line here in the last couple of years. But we got to get some stuff out of the way here before we get into football. All right. Let's get let's get your name out of the way first. Shaquille Olajuwon Mason. Yes, sir. Mom and dad basketball fans? Yeah, my mom, she um, <laughs> she was a big Shaquille O'Neal fan. And I mean, she loved Hakeem Olajuwon, so like, I guess she just put a little combination of both. Thought I was gonna be a basketball player. Oh, yeah. Then it kind of didn't turn how'd out that, that go? way. How'd that go? How'd that start out? <laughs> but, but growing up with Shaq, obviously, right. I mean, born in the 90s, early 90s, I understand where that, but Shaquille Olajuwon Mason, now you go through life with that now, and you're, a, you're an offensive lineman? I mean, hey, I mean, I guess the cards kind of shuffled a little bit. Cause I mean, I started off playing basketball though. I did, I played it to about sophomore year in mm -hmm. high school. And I mean. How was your game? I was pretty good at basketball. Were you? I was. Big guy, guard, forward? Forward. Yeah? Good rebounder? Five, four or five, yeah. Yeah, I did a little bit down there. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you? Was it hard growing up with Shaquille Olajuwon Mason in this world? Uh, it was. I mean, you can't. Or was it fun? It was fun, and like everywhere, every time you, you know, what I'm saying, tell somebody, like, when somebody be like, "What's your name?" You'd be like, Shaquille. And they'd be like, "Where you name? You know?" And then yeah. you go through that every time. But I mean, it's fun too, though. Um. You came along last year. Coach Johnson, I've, I've come to find out in a few years working with him, whenever he starts kind of mentioning guys on the periphery, they must be doing pretty well. What was it about coming here and playing in this system that excited you to leave basically your home state where you were heavily recruited to come here in an opportunity to play in this offense and be a part of this program? <clears throat> because, I mean, mainly this just felt like a family like I mean I looked at other places like you know what I'm saying Tennessee and all that but it was just like you know I didn't feel as comfortable in those places I did here so I mean as soon as I came here I was just you know embraced like it was just felt like a place I wanted to be. Now Columbia Tennessee is not a, a common city in this part of the world. I mean, it's people, not. people don't hear about it south of Nashville what do, you, what, do, what do people need to know who followed Georgia Tech and who followed your career here about your hometown? Um, I mean, it's a... High school football is pretty important, I know that. Yeah, high school football is pretty important. I mean, that's really all the city has is high school football. I mean, you know, we won state championship my senior year. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's not too much about that town. Like, a lot of people want to get out because, you know what I'm saying, most people are just stuck around Columbia. And it's just... I mean, it's a nice place to... It's a nice place for me because I'm from there, but it's not when you just look at it. Hmm. When you talk about playing in the offensive line here, you're asked about <clears throat> playing in the offensive line here. One thing that I think people are starting to see this year with like Will Jackson playing guard and playing tackle, you got to be able to understand all five spots in the line, don't you? Oh, yeah, you do. Most definitely. Most definitely. What, 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 when, do you, when do you understand that? When you get here and you start learning more about the offense or is it something you – you find out early on in the recruiting process. When does it hit you that, hey, I may be the right guard or I may be the left guard, but I better understand what it's like to play right tackle, left tackle, and to a degree center? Um, I mean, it, it really it really hit – well, coming in, you don't really know about it too much, but mm -hmm. as you get in the meeting room and, you know what I'm saying, you just in there all the time drawing up plays, you be like, okay, if I don't know what this guy's doing, then I know I'm going to be wrong. So, I mean, you really do have to know all five positions. Take me through this season, Shaq. What's it been like? I know it's been frustrating for you guys, hasn't it? It has been pretty frustrating. It has. Um, I mean, we've had, you know, coming like first game, Virginia Tech, we had, we lost in overtime. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought, okay, we lost in overtime. Well, we're gonna have a pretty, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be a great team this year. And you know what I'm saying? We keep, we keep showing sparks, but we just, I mean, we, I guess just, keep falling short, but I mean, it can still go up from here though. How important then to this season and maybe next year a little bit are these last four ball games? Um, they're very important because I mean, you do want to finish out a season mm -hmm. with a bowl game. So, I mean, we got to win three of the last four, plan on winning all four, but you know, that's going, we win these next four, that's going to put us in the bowl game. 
and then give us a little something going into the next year. So, yeah, this is it's been an interesting team. There, there's not too many seniors, so guys like yourself who are still relatively young in terms of football status are required to at sometimes be leaders, right? I mean, everybody's got to kind of pull together in, in situations like this, I would think. Right, that's true. I mean, it's not, you, like you said, it's not too many seniors, but you know what I'm saying? It's a it's some underclassmen, like as myself, that's on the field. So mm -hmm. we kind of got to step up too. All right, let me ask you here in our final minute or so. Most intense guy in the offensive line meeting room? Most intense? Mm. Other than Seawalk? Other than the coach, yes. <laughs> yeah, other than the coach. Uh, it would probably be, I'd say Jay Finch. Okay. Probably would be. Funniest guy in the offensive line meeting room, and I think I know this answer. Man. Aaron Joe. Aaron Joe? It's like hands it down. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. It is. It's not even close, is it? It's not. It's not. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the situation is. He can always find a way to, you know what I'm saying, make everybody laugh no matter what. Is he the funniest guy on the team? Uh, it's pretty close between him and Dion. Dion Hill? <laughs> right. Really? It is. Huh. Interesting. You think Aaron could hold up in this chair like you have? He could. He could. He may get that chance here before he knows it. Thanks, Shaq. All right. That's Shaq Mason, Georgia Tech, Maryland. It's Saturday at 1230.